Podcast. Many people of faith were praying for the 2016 elections in the United States. I woke up the next day after the elections thinking that the days after should be much more intense and focused days of prayer for our country and for everything else surrounding there than it was before the election. While there were many people who feel their prayers were answered the day of the election, there were almost as many people who believe their prayers weren't. We are a country divided. Regardless of your desire for the election results, we wake up the day after every election still hurting, still divisive, still polarized, still filled with bitterness and hate. A couple of decades ago in Berlin, one of the biggest physical manifestations of cultural and philosophical division was broken. On November 9th, 1989, the Berlin Wall fell, ending years of division and hate. Now, before anyone draws any comparison to the wall our president would like to build, let me say that I am not applying any kind of parallel. No, in fact, our wall is already built, and it stands in the fog of our discontent, our aggravation, our polarization and demonization of those who hold different views from our own. This wall of mental construction stands tall, wide, and so thick that even the sound of opposing views can't pass through. I can remember when I was younger, President Reagan speaking the words, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. The wall that Reagan referred to was more than the pile of cement constructed in 1961. The real wall was the system of oppression and control that existed since the end of World War II. When we insist that our opinions, points of views, ideas, concepts, and outlooks are the only way and everyone who doesn't see things our way are wrong, we build a wall. Every time we hate someone who is different and lack the desire, compassion, or love to see things from another angle, we string barbed wire on that wall. Now, every time we attack someone because of their political affiliation, cause, or skin color, we set weapons of defense atop that wall. We watched the amazingly divided, negative, and polarizing elections of 2016, wondering how we got there. How did we end up with two of the most disapproved candidates in American history, leaving us to pick between two troubling possibilities? This might sting a little, but our polarized candidates were chosen by a polarized people. We, the people, did this polarizing ourselves. We are to blame, not the candidates or the parties they represent. So while I am no Reagan, I say, Mr. and Mrs. America, tear down this wall. Tear down the wall of prejudiced hate, racism, culturalism, bigotry, slander, malice, and anger. We are called the United States of America. This may be our name, but it sure isn't our policy or desire anymore. I should hasten to add that this video was not created with the intent on attacking one political party or the other. We the people are all guilty collectively and only collectively can we remedy what we have done. Philippians 4, 6 says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be known to God. My prayer for all of us is to look through the wall of division and see the fellow souls that God created instead of seeing their opinions. My prayer is for unity. My prayer is for mutual respect and understanding. My prayer is for us to remember that we are better together. That's certainly worth praying about, don't you think? Exploring the elements of faith can be a lifelong pursuit. Knowing what questions to ask can be the hard part. If you like what you saw here in this video, be sure to like and subscribe on YouTube or like and follow on my Facebook page. My goal is to have a new video uploaded every week. More importantly, I'd love to hear from you. Share your thoughts with me about what the video means to you, or if you have a faith question or video suggestion, send me a message about it. I'm not going to tell you that I have all the answers, but I seriously enjoy the exploration process, and especially with others. In addition to YouTube and Facebook, you can also find me on Twitter and Instagram, or my written blog on Tumblr by searching at Rev Chris Hall. Please feel free to share this video if you think someone else could benefit from it, and thanks for watching.